Hello and welcome back. It's been a while since I made a video. Um, actually, I have tried to make a couple, but each time the painting ended up a complete mess, so I scrapped it. Anyway, um, someone asked me if I could show you how some of my paintings dried. So I'll start off with that. This is the dried, non-varnished, blue, deep blue cosmos that I made a video of. So here you can see how it dried. Um, and I'll show you the COVID one as well. Here is the COVID inspired. It's just got its first layer of um, acrylic varnish. This baby is going to Italy next week. So I'm varnishing it over the weekend. Um, it's slightly shinier now than without the varnish dried, but pretty much this is what it looked like dried. So there you go. Okay, so what am I up to today? Uh, I'm still on my um, negative space um, run. Um, it feels right for me in a way. I really like the style. Um, and it seems the feedback on it as well is pretty good. Um, feels like it's kind of my thing as well. I haven't uh, kind of um, imitated someone. This was my, feels like my original idea. Inspired of course by someone else, but still. Um, feels like my thing. So anyway, um, I wanted to try to do this with a kind of monochrome black and white-ish color mix. So what I've done here is I have the same colors in both cups, but they're layered kind of in the opposite order. So here I have black, some paint spray that I lightened slightly with some white, um, silver and oxide black. That's the layering in that cup, bottom up. The bottom color is the one you see on top now. Here it's the other way around, so it's oxide black, silver, uh, paint gray, and white. Two layers of each. What I've realized doing kind of this technique is that it's, in a way, it feels harder than just a regular um, flip cup. It's difficult to do um, perfect time and time again. Um, so um, there are more than normal for me anyway, uh, more <laughs> failed paintings. Um, makes me even happier though when it turns out the way I want or better than I thought it would. So, but yeah, it's, uh, well, it's more costly anyways, because um, more paint, more canvases, are wasted on the ones that um, don't succeed or turn out how they're supposed to. Um, when I started doing this art form, I thought, you know, it looked really like simple, quick, uh, 
but it's only as you start like digging into it you realize how much work and practice and paint and time and money that goes into uh, both um, getting some actual skills uh, but also kind of trying to evolve your own style or take on it um, so I think that should be taken into consideration um, for example if you sell your paintings um, My personal opinion anyway is that the price should kind of reflect on uh, the overall work as well, not just the individual piece. Not to an extreme degree anyway, but um, you won't get those beautiful pieces without a certain amount of failures. Uh, and the failure just costs money as well. So it's part of the part of the game, kind of. Okay, so that's the canvas covered. Uh, going to wait torching those bubbles. Uh, because I might end up uh, drying the top layer and cracking it. it. Tends to happen more with the white, I think. Just blowing on it will do away with some of the bubbles as well. So. Okay, so we'll just tilt a little bit first, take it over the edges. Then it's torching time. Okay. Real careful now. Uh, don't want those cracks appearing. Always gets me worried when I'm working with uh, predominantly white paint, or a lot of it. 
it used to happen more often. And I seriously can't stand it. So uh, as soon as I see these, um, I know the likelihood, see, it's happening down there, but it's on the edge, so maybe. Anyway, as soon as I see them, I want to scrap the entire thing. Probably overreacting a bit, but it's my opinion. And it's my painting, so I get to decide. Ha <laughs> ha. Sorry, just kidding. But, um,. Okay, I think I'll leave it at that. There are some cracks there, but uh, it'll be okay. I can deal with those. Or maybe even paint over or embellish it in some way. Otherwise, quite lovely selection both here and there. Um, really happy with that. Um, what do you think? Um, leave a comment and I'll try and get back to you. I've been a bit lazy on replying to your comments lately. Try to do better. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, anyway, thank you for watching. Um, hope you're all still safe and healthy and um, doing well with the physical social distancing. Um, it's not my favourite thing in the world, it gets me a bit depressed, but um, sticking to work, routine, exercise, and um, seeing colleagues, friends, as far as I can anyway, really helps. So um, look after yourself and each other and... We'll see you again soon. Bye.